Hi, it's Gene retired in Mexico and no bumper. We're going to get straight into it. 133 favorite artists. Why 133? I just started making a list and that's where it stopped. So, but 33 also 33 and a third uh, RPM. So I thought that was kind of cool for me. Anyway, I, I made a bunch of playlists, rank, re-rank. So I'm ranking their discography. Did I see him live? And that plays in. And then just how interested am I? Have I watched um, movies or bought books? So anyway, this artist today, and if you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button. It really helps. And I've got a Patreon page below. And I've also got a link to the playlist for this particular artist. That's right. It's an artist. So what country are we talking about? America or Europe? Yes. <laughs> yes. So this is an artist born in Ohio, uh, but he actually became big in England and ended up getting citizenship there in 1970. And uh, unfortunately, he did pass away just um, not too long ago in the last five years. Uh, but big influence on a lot of people, musicians, musician, big influence on especially people like David Bowie. Uh, started recording in the 60s as a teen idol and then has made his way through uh, kind of cabaret and Baroque pop and then ended up becoming an avant-garde artist. So we're talking about Noel Scott Engel. You know who I'm talking about? Better known as Scott Walker. Oh, love me some Scott Walker. He's only at number 101. Have I seen him live? No, I never have. But, you know, he rarely performed, if ever. He didn't tour, and he would go 10 years between albums. So anyone who, ha who has seen Scott Walker in concert, that would be really special. So I will show you what I've got. I've got uh, a couple anthologies and one of his albums, so... Uh, he was with the Walker brothers in the 60s. Everybody named themselves Walker, kind of like the Ramones, you know. And this is uh, No Regrets, the best of Scott Walker and the Walker brothers. And it's mostly the Walker brothers. Uh, but it's got a few Scott Walker songs. So this is 65 to 76. This was released on Fontana in 1992, the Fontana record label. Then Razor and Tie, which is a really cool record label, they pretty much just do reissues and compilations. It's raining today, the Scott Walker story, 67 to 70. And this is his most prolific period. So this is a pure Scott Walker, no Walker brothers. And then from 2012, I have Bish Bosh. Uh, this is the you know, the digipack with a booklet and the CD and the whole bit. This is on 4AD. And this is a hard listen. This is very avant-garde. Got a couple cats running around. Anyway, love Scott Walker. And I've seen the documentary 30th Century Man. If you haven't seen that, fabulous, fabulous documentary. Interviews with David Bowie, Brian Eno and uh, Jarvis Cocker, I think, and people like that. So it's been a while since I've seen it, but it's really cool. So that's it. We'll wrap it up. Let me know what you think. My favorite songs real quick. Let me just tell you what those are. I really like Jackie. Uh, that's the one where he sings about in a stupid-ass way. <laughs> I love that. It is a, that's a Jacques Brel song, and then Plastic Palace People. It's Raining Today is Wonderful. Um, Lights of Cincinnati. And of his later work, I really like Brando with Sun O, 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 you know, with, uh, if you know how that's spelled, the American band. So, yeah, I love it. So that's it. Um, wrapping it up. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.